News Channel. So let me get you back on your stand. Let me get you back on your perch. There you go. There's this. Next item up for bids. I was looking through these parts a second ago as I started to pull out these rods, etc. Any more drilling? No. These are going back. These are going in their spot. Any more measuring? No, not at this point. Hey, I figured out the CG on this thing. I got 81 millimeters. I'm going to show you how I did it. It's pretty primitive, but essentially I did it on the ground over here with string and wood. So far, see these? Here's two and one. So far, so good. What I'll be doing at this point, um, what I should be doing, think this through for a second, because if I attach these wings, I mean these, this tail section here, uh, am I going to have, I'm going to wait, I'm going to do the slot, I'm doing the slot for this first, I'm going to do this slot with a tool my buddy Andy says they have a tool to make a slot in this. This is glass, you know. We'll see. It's probably something you just put on and slide back and forth. Um, I'm going to make this slot before I put these wings on. I don't want to have these wings on and be wrestling around. And, okay, let me get you out. All right, yeah, sure. So it looks like uh, I'll get the slot established. I already got the other pieces put on. I've got these pushed through, which is nice. Um... I have my servos. I've got my little thing charging so I can rip into my glass some more right here on these sections. This worries me. This is really worrying me. I mean, you know, the wood was easy. This has nothing in there to, to push out or, no, you've got to cut. You're cutting into it. Imagine that you just cut along the black. You just cut on the black only. Let me just bring it out to the... You know, just basically cut out the black. Don't go outside the lines. Yeah, that's kind of the deal. For now, I think we're uh, done for a second. Maybe. What other things do I have that I have to do? I think now, what else has to be done? Oh, I do know what has to be done. Probably save this for later, too. See this paper? This comes with the kit. This is the uh, thrust tube. It goes in the back. The objective here... I'm going to set this down for a second over here. The objective... And I'm going to look at a couple of examples. I know this is a 70 millimeter. I know that... Uh, Obviously, the Habu is a 70 millimeter, starting off with that size motor, and it's getting down into a certain point. I'm going to take the measurement off the back of, the, of this Habu, back here, just for a reference. Yeah, that's great. Take a measurement off the back of this right here. Maybe I stuck that measuring device away too, too soon. What was the measuring device for? Well, what I was going to do at first there when you saw me doing that was to um, come back and get a drill bit that had that measurement and then drill those out because my intention was to bring those all the way through. Things don't always work out like you think. This device here, I mean this, this piece here, this is compressing down to 58.85. Right in that region, 58.8 something. I'm going to call it 8. 58.8 millimeters. 
the back of this other jet here. The measurement on the back of this other jet is, that was 58.8. This one here measures out at 63.7. Oh, wait, 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 let me back up here. 63.2, 58, 63, we're talking a few millimeters there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to use the measurement off of this. It's, it's close enough to not make, I wouldn't think it's going to make that gigantic of a difference. So I'll use the diameter on the other, on the end of this thing. So, what do you do? Well, I get this sweet Hoffman Magnetics motor. I take off of this ring because I'm not going to need it. Put that back. Put this back. Put this back. Knock this back. they put that in. I'm sure it's not just for PR. The objective here. This is the front of the motor. This is the back of the motor. Just for grins. Let me bend those over for just a second. This feels all nice. This section pretty snug onto here and round as long as these two pieces are even here, like this. As long as these. You know, like you're lining up a piece of paper, like a, you know, a plane, a paper plane. As long as these two pieces are even, I'm on. So the objective is, is to, is to get this, you know, a piece of tape or a couple of pieces of tape right there, just to start with, and then come back to the end of this. and make this the same size as the end of this jet. And just for the hell of it, I'm gonna go over to the end of the jet. I know it's not gonna be the same. I'm reducing, because this side right here, the outside diameter of this is 72. 72 millimeters is what the outside diameter of this EDF unit is. 72.1372. Oh, it's 72.09. I'm not going to go out to that far a significant digit. Call it a 72. This guy over here, as we've already discovered, this is a 64 on the end of this. 72 reduced on down to a 64. This has to be a 72 <laughs> inside diameter of this paper, and the other end has to be a 64. It's as simple as that. Right around those. Probably it'll be a, you know, a hair, but that's the next mission, is to get this into a thrust tube. I don't have any real reference. I'll probably end up cutting some of this, because I'd like to use a piece of this stuff uh, to wrap the other end that goes on to the... Uh, the jet. I'm coming and babbling right here. Let me do some thinking. I'll come back.